ready for this run or what? You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Go on. Okay, I'll help you, I'll help you, I'll help you. Oh, oh, uh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, me and Woody are about to go run. We're gonna do some sprints. We're gonna be circling around. I'll show you the spot real quick where we're gonna go. Um, I have a weight vest, and this is one of the best ones I've ever had. And I have a link, I have a link up above actually doing a review. Oh, he's gonna go get it. He's gonna go get it. Come here, come here. Over here, look. Papa, come here. Come here. Oh, I see it. Oh, no, it went into the hole. Damn. He knows what's up. He knows I have him trained. I'm, I'm training him little by little in this area. Look at this. This whole area right here. You see that big old M over there from Myrna Valley. Anyways, he's been hunting these rabbits, these squirrels, ah, that rabbit. All right, anyways, we have our fair share of fun. We spent a lot of time together. So, quick tips, not trying to steer off too much out of our routine, but in order for you to practice to have your dog close by, let him off the leash, let him be if he loves you, he's gonna be around you. That's honestly facts. He loves you, he's attached to you, he's gonna be around you. He's not gonna leave your side. I think the farthest he'll go is to that tree. Like the absolute farthest. Anything farther than like this tree right here, he won't go, he won't go. He, If I see like he's kind of, something has his attention, he's gearing off too much, I'll call him over. I'll be like, Woody, come here. Yes, good boy. Good boy. Okay, Papa. You see? I pet him so, so he knows. Like, okay, cool. Like, just stay, you know, close by. Anyways, we're about to get started. We're going to do some sprints. I'm going to warm up. I'm going to do a couple of jog. I'm going to do some light jogging. And I'm going to increase the speed little by little by little. What I used to do before, I just increased the speed from 0 to 60 and fucking 2.0 and 1.6. Nah. We're going to increase the speed little by little, okay? Because that's when you get injured. You're like, okay, I feel I'm ready. Oh, no. I was not ready. So, that's what happens. Anyways. Woo. All right. We're gonna get warmed up. I feel good. I uh, haven't worn this vest too, too, too often, but I've been at least incorporating it once a week. We've been at this for an hour. I'm just pushing through as much as I can. I catch my breath like right now. I make sure that when I remember, <laughs> sometimes you just, I'm in like the ninth dimension sometimes and I'm breathing. I compose myself. Inhale. Exhale. All right, ladies and gents, we're gonna go for round two. I'm gonna change my shirt. I'm gonna take out my weight vest. I'll see you guys at the gym. We're gonna do back today, and I wanna show you my top three favorite back exercises, all right? I just came back from a run. Woo! That was quite a run. I went home, I freshened up, put a new shirt, Took out my weight vest, and now we're gonna head to Fitness 19 in Moreno Valley. Woo! Oh, I love this gym. You know how much I pay at Fitness 19? $6.99 a month. What? Yeah, I pay $6.99 during the pandemic. 
which we still are, but when it was complete shutdown, they had reopened. And at the time, uh, LA Fitness wasn't open. So I was doing a lot of home workouts and they had a special offer like for just that gym though, not multiple gyms. Um, they said, hey, we have a monthly, you know, $6.99. That does not break the bank account whatsoever. So they have a lot of great tools. They're actually expanding one of the uh, small little sections out there. But I will let you guys know my top three favorite back workouts. What a day to be alive, guys. What a day. Woo. Such a lovely day. Every time, from what I learned with Pop, is you gotta be grateful for every opportunity. Every time I wake up, I'm extremely happy that I'm up. Every time I wake up, I wanna make the most out of my day. And more than anything, just teaching you guys what I do. And a lot of people seem to like what I do. I've been hanging around with a lot of great people. I've been in the fitness industry for a very long time. I've learned a ton of stuff. And quite honestly, um, the biggest thing for me is Natty for life. So I've been doing a lot of these things natural. No compounds, no steroids, nothing. Completely natural. And you could achieve this. You're capable like I am. You just got to have the right mindset, you know? Anyways, let's get to it. My top one right here. This is like the jab right here you know you start with this and then you start developing more strength with other workouts as you proceed this is my all-time favorite one it builds an enormous amount of strength and it develops a great 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 back there's a lot of different variations that you could do different stages of difficulty you could add to and this is my top one right here this is like the jab right here all right ladies and gentlemen my second favorite workout is right here in the incline, but doing it the opposite way, facing this way. So I'll show you positioning. I think overall this is a professional to advanced level. Um, I do think there is a beginner stage to this, obviously just 10 pounds, 15 pounds, but I'm gonna start with 45 pounds to 50 pounds around that range, probably a little less. Like I said, range of motion is really important. This one, Rory Liedermeyer taught it to me so I'm giving them credit where credit is deserved so this one if you want to get that nice little cut right in the middle the proper positioning for me is right underneath your chest you twist on the way up You could always add intensity to every workout by holding it, by going down slower, going up faster, you know, just different variations. And I love that type of workout where it's not exactly like bodybuilding. It's a dynamic workout where I incorporate cardio, I incorporate strength, I incorporate a variety of movements. So that's ultimately what I like. A lot of people just like very strict, very linear, Workouts, I like functional workouts, dynamic workouts that you could do a lot of movements um, along the way, so. So this is my third favorite workout, at least now. I like this workout because you're able to go from here and then pull back. So I love that flexibility and I'm able to achieve that right here so I got both grips with both hands I put my feet all the way back like this and I grip it like that and then I pull all the way back boom and then I twist turn this turn boom that will absolutely build a monster back you could do different variations, you could go slow, you could go fast. There's no right and wrong positioning. You could be, you know, like slanted like this and then pull all the way back. That's perfectly fine. You could be here straight and then you could pull and that's still perfectly fine. You could go be lean back and then just pull. That's extreme isolation, but every one of those workouts work. There's no right and wrong. Obviously, there's some occasions like yeah no that's not gonna work that's gonna get you injured but this one 
you could be as flexible as like this, go all the way back. Like if you're actually rowing or be here, I'm like right in between. I'm like, I'm like right here and then I pull all the way back and make sure I feel that contraction. So I'll show you guys how it looks in action. like what you guys are watching please like this video and if you have any comments write them down below all right i want to be covering some back workouts in general but these are just my favorite right now it could change in the future i know it will anyways i'll catch you guys on the next video